So guys, Mr. Julius Aburi has been sacked as the chairman of the Labour Party. I hope this time people like Kenneth Okonkwo will be back to support Peter Obi in the Labour Party because he's one of the people who have come out to really criticize the management of the Labour Party under the leadership of Julius Aburi. So guys, take a look at the reaction coming from Peter Obi and Governor Alex Oti. Take a look. Honorable members, labor leaders, let me very respectfully stand on all the early disciples box. Yes, I have to start by thanking you for that very, very detailed elucidation of our position. So that people know. And I'll thank various speakers, including Seth Levy. To you. But I'm also consulting, and I thank you, the governor said it, to consult it, to discuss. And I thank him because I know what he has gone through before we arrived at this stage. It is not as if we just woke up to call the meeting and say, Call me here. You know my own position as well. I've been called out of name. Not serious, not weak. He will still say I should not present myself again because I'm not what you're voting, but. I believe that we have to follow the process. And the governor, each time I come to him and say, please do this, please do this, please, and he did that. And when he says he goes through the law, or he does what is right, I believe him. Because I know he consulted and everything. So, when I hear that he said, all we're doing here is to control the exercise of duty. We are not here to dissolve, we are not here to suspend or sack anybody. And like I always say, even in this new one we are doing, whatever we are going to do in the future, everybody, including those who are not we are part of yesterday, can participate. Everybody is free. We don't ask anybody. We just want to do it properly. So if you are a chairman in the state, you want to contest the game, who we'll fought for you or we'll vote against you, whichever one. Nobody, we're not saying you're no longer qualified. It's just simple. It's just that we have to do it properly. That's what I've been standing here. So I thank all of you, all of us that are gathered here. It's not going to be easy. Even after this meeting, we'll still continue with meetings, reconciliations, everything. But we need to be on the right path. It is critical. It is better than the right path than negotiating. Look at our election man coming up. We should be in the good campaign and telling selling our market, not having meetings with the party. And soon all of us, with what our government is doing here, we should be selling our market globally, not waiting and doing this. So we've resolved that we're going to move. And I know, let me thank the Godera candidates. I'm sure what you've done is the work that by then we finish. You just put it into your system and we'll conclude. Senior advocate, I think they have started to communicate. All we need is to put the piece and pieces and you conclude. And we'll just read that and go. So don't, re don't remove the communicate. We're just going to give you ingredients you put in different parts and we'll move ahead. And we are sure you will do the right thing. And again, in going forward, I must appeal. In going forward, let everybody listen to this sacrifice. When we talk about the go, our dear governor mentioned it about the issue of caretaker or issue of this. Let's we're just trying to set up just a small committee that will have to do the what we want, the right thing, which will be just a period of maybe 19, 120 days. We want everything we're going to do to end as quickly as possible. So that we'll be able to know what we're doing. So we're not going to, we're not trying to set up another leadership. No, we're not trying to do this, it's just a system that will help to get to where we're going. That's what we want to do. Not another group that can become a problem for everybody, but a group that will solve the problem. And we want everybody to embrace this. That's what we want to do. So for us, having the near LLC, our parents, I love that. What Mama, I like what you said. What you said was very good. Mothers, parents must come from time to time to raise their children 
that I knew well or not. I used to tell people that I had a principal. I had a principal who, for a time ago, who did not get rise as the governor. So whenever I go to see him as governor, he hold my ear and said, I want you to listen to what I'm telling you now. I said, I'm the governor now. He said, listen to what I'm telling you. What I'm telling you now. He said, so he said, sitting down. I said, okay. So I went down. In his old age, as far as I know, he still hold my ear and he warning me. But that's because you never grow old where your parents are. So I am going to thank you for not allowing us to grow old. And remember, we are not trying to do the wrong thing. We are, like you said, we are trying to follow the law and do the right thing. And I will plead to everybody who is listening to us and those who are here, those who are not here, we want everybody to come together. We want it to work. That is why we're doing this. And I thank all of you who are gathered here. We have said we are going to set up a caretaker committee to be able to go into resolving this. And we are just going to do a, a 29 member committee. The reason is that the work is good. We are talking about the whole federation. We are not going to do like Dr. Frederick Kimi said. We don't want to say we are doing something in Kogi. Uh, we are not doing it in Kwara. No, we want to publicize that this party today is the third biggest party in Nigeria. <laughs> and I can tell you, have the brightest future of all the parties in Nigeria. This will be the right thing. The other ones, people know them. We are the only people who are trying to offer something different. But we must manage it. So we have carefully selected this team, which will encompass the names. You will see it just like we were invited, <laughs> precisely published in the media and everything. But we are going to say how carefully this representative so that everybody will be accommodated. We have selected, of course, NLC, three members to be part of this. Similarly, with two UC to be members of this. Senators, we have three senators to be part of it. House of Rep, four members. House of Assembly, we have about ten number, three members. We have to have a representative from the Northeast, Northwest, North Central. Southwest, four candidates for the gubernatorial, four governors as a gubernatorial candidates. That is how this committee, like I say, 29 committee, which, as you know, caretaker does not have positions. We are going to have chairman and secretary. The rest are people to coordinate. We have just work to do within a very short time to ensure the will to ensure that everything is done properly. And this committee will be chaired by Senator Nenadi Kusho. And we will, the secretary will be Senator Dalitin Okocha. That is what we want. I know that some of the people who are here will be. Surprised, especially men and But we wanted somebody who is neutral, woman, so you'll be kind to everybody. You know, woman for everybody. So we don't want more for We just want somebody. All we are saying is let things work. And we are pleased. I must guys continue to say we will continue to engage, fight, move on, but we will get things right and show an example of what things are supposed to be. That's what we're here. We're not here for any other thing other than how, what do we do to be able to move forward. Governor, I've told you, I'm going to INEC. Students have told you, I'm going to INEC. And we have also seen what is happening to us. I think we're all in agreement. Yes. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you. Let's start by welcoming all of you to the banquet hall 
have been addressed with government for the expanded stakeholder engagement of meeting. Today being Wednesday, the fourth day of September 2024. I want to thank you for allowing yourselves to be ordered this afternoon, leaving everything you were supposed to be doing today, traveling from far flung places to answer this call. I am aware that a lot of people, or a few people, have kicked against this meeting. A lot of them did not understand the reason why the meeting was called. The meeting was called to deal with an existential problem confronting our party. Uh, the place from where I come, there is a saying that uh, an elderly person does not stay in the house and the goods will give back the tickets. If you follow us, you will agree that we do not get interested in things that we should not be interested in. Since I joined this party in May 2022, there have been one problem or another. Every time that I intervene is to solve the problem. And I want to assure you and reassure you that my intervention in hosting this meeting today is to solve a problem which you all know, which I'm also going to explain briefly this afternoon. Like I said, I am very new in the party. And, uh, but I have an interest, and my interest is to ensure the survival of the party. Other than that, I have no further interest. I don't care who the chairman is once in the right person. I don't care who the secretary is once in the right person. Everything succeeds and fails on the altar of leadership. If we do not provide direction, then the party may as well disappear. And the platform under which many of us run election and are serving our people will kill it. It's very easy to say if the party wants to die, let it die, let's go to another party. But who tells you that where you are going to is not worse than where you are coming from? So I have refused to respond to all the attacks in the media, and I will never respond to them. But as stakeholders of the party, who I respect, and if I didn't respect you, I would not invite you. And all the people that we are threatening, including going to court and stop me, they didn't know that I have immunity. <laughs> the what we are doing here is just to save our party. Where we found ourselves is that as at the 8th of June 2024, the Aburi led National Working Committee has ceased to be recognized by the regulatory authorities. And there are a lot of implications. It means that from June 2024 to this moment, that our party does not have leadership. Two or three causes of action will be taken. One of them could be to go to court, just like Barrister Apure suggested, and begin to fight with Ainan and everybody else. The only problem with that cause of action is that you will know when the court process will start, but you will never know when it will end. And it may end sometime before the general election in 2024 and 2027 and if that happened it means that everything if it ended negatively against us and supreme court pronounces that like we know 
that the tenor of that National Working Committee ended in June 2024. The implication is that every action that they have taken from that June until the day the matter is decided in the Supreme Court will be null and void. Some of you who are looking at contesting election, maybe by then they would have done primary submitted names. You will find that you will not be a candidate. And I'm not saying something strange. It had happened in Beaver State. For those of you who were there in 2019, it had happened in Zanfara and a few other states. Flat. So, our people say that a battle that is fought through will not consume even the name. Because you know it will happen. And of course, there are about five off-season or off-cycle elections that should happen any moment from now, including that of Anambra Senatorial District, where our brother Ifan Yoba unfortunately left. Because INEC does not recognize the working committee, national working committee that existed. If they conducted primaries and selected candidates, they will not list those candidates in those off-cycle elections. You don't need to take my word for it. A few weeks ago, I called a meeting of chairmen of political parties. Our uh, Baris Bahapure went uninvited and they excused him from that meeting. Just last Friday, another meeting held involving all the political parties. We were not even invited. I also have it on good authority that our party agents for the forthcoming Edo and Ondo governorship elections in November, who we are selected or nominated by the same working committee, that the document had been trashed. So as we speak, we do not have agents for those elections that will happen in about two months' time. Okay. Okay, so we don't have we don't have agents. So and I sat down and I consulted my leader. And I said we can't sit down and let our party go to the docks. And we consulted lawyers, people who are fast in INEC matters and in political party matters. We are lucky to have Senator Victor Mehia, who is a veteran chairman of a political party, which of course was the most litigious political party in Nigeria. <laughs> so we consulted, and eh? so the best way to do it. The best way to do it will be for us, as owners of the party, to sit down. You can claim leadership of the party, but once owners come together and they don't agree with you, you are gone. So, and I must also say that before this time, I had engaged with the leadership of the National Working Committee to explain all these issues to them. So for me and for a lot of us that are here, we need to save our party. How do we save our party? We are not here to dissolve anybody. If by exclusion of time, your leadership has been rendered comatose, important, then you do not exist. So what we are here to do is to define a way forward. My engagement with people who know better than I do is that since I know does not recognize the leadership, which I believe is right, because I've seen documents to the effect that any 
an agreement signed by all the parties, including the Barista Agure, that the party should organize an all of compassion and all parties, all interests compressed, starting from the road through the local government to the state, which will in turn lead to a national convention. I did tell the people who are fighting when they organized a convention in Navy, I did ask them who the delegates were and how they were. And that question was not the answer. So, on the basis of that, it is very clear that things were not done wise. So let us not move sheepishly into a hope that we know exists. So distinguished ladies and gentlemen, that is the essence of this meeting. It is my understanding that it will be very swift and defines a direction forward. I know I do have another time to speak, but I wanted to say everything that I wanted to say here, so I don't need to come back again. So, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, let me thank you once again for coming. Thank you for uh, being part of this. Thank you for all the support. For us in Asia, it's all about governance, good governance. Yeah. If you follow us, we will find that whatever is not right, we will not do it. That's our watchword. Is it right? Is that the way to go? Um, Labour Party. Just like elsewhere, should actually lead the way in good governance because it's a government, it's a, a party for everybody. Everybody is a worker, one way or the other. Ah, so um, I want to also thank the Nigerian Labour Congress and GUs uh, for making this meeting and for their cooperation. Um, the I want to thank them for also getting the party registered at the time they did that. But I want to advise that having registered the party, the party will be bigger than you. Than you. Hey. All the people that registered PDP, I think they were 32. I'm not sure any of them is alive. But the party is still there. And go and check the Labour Party in the UK. I'm not too sure that the Prime Minister is in the part of Labour, who is a Labour Party Prime Minister. So anytime you sow a seed, and your seed will be smaller than you, then you have done nothing. You need to sow a seed that grows to become a tree. So that generations after you will remember you because we sow this seed. That's my advice to my fellow comrades. You don't have I'm one of them. I mean, I'm sure the others do not that I'm a fellow comrade. Solidarity. <laughs> Yes, Mrs. Distinguished Ladies and Gentlemen, let me thank you for listening and I. So, guys, you have seen it for yourself. I don't know what you make of all this. We know that this, you know, so many people saw this coming long ago. I mean, so many people are not really happy the way Julius Abure is managing the, the, the Labour Party. You know, Peter Obi once said, don't hold this convention. Let's bring out a date. Let's find time when we'll have this convention but julius aburi disobeyed and quickly held the convention you know at his own time so that it will favor him to be retained as the labor party chairman but we are happy to see that honestly julius aburi is gone for the moment and he's gone for the better of the labor party let me know what you think about this in the comment section below please don't forget to subscribe to the channel turn on the notification bell thank you